All right, so this is a basic overview of how to edit your show at site. So on your left-hand side over here, this is where everything is managed and um, where you can change the design settings. The site settings will all be set up with you for you. You don't need to deal with that. Design settings, this is where you can change the color palette and the tech typography if you wanted, but that should be good to go for you as well. So let's say there's a change that you want to make to your homepage. You are able on Show It to edit the desktop version, which is over here, as well as the mobile version. If this is too small, click down here to see desktop only or mobile only. So um, what you are going to do is go home if you want to edit something on the home page. These are called headers, so if you want to edit the header image, all you have to do is just click on it. And if you come over to the right-hand side, you'll see um, the image and all the other things that you can do with it. So you could just delete it and then choose an image, find the image you want, which I'm just going to replace it with the image we already had. And then, can't find that right now, so I will do that later. Um, and then you will just click it and it'll fill it up. Um, if you want to edit any sort of text, super easy. Again, you can click on the mobile or the desktop version. It'll change it on both sides. So you just click and then you can click on this, double click, and you can edit that text. Same with this, you just double click, you can edit that text. If you want to bold something, highlight it, bold it, so on and so forth. This is called um, a gallery image. And so if there's an image you wanted to add or delete from that, you again, double click on this. And as you can see, I have lots of images in here. You can upload the file down here to upload a new image. And once it pops up, you just go like this and then push the arrow over. If you want to rearrange images, you can do this and drag it to where you want it. The rest of everything else is the same. A button uh, works where if you wanted to change where the button goes um, or the text, you can again just click on the text and then double click and change the text. The way I have a button set up is with a click action, it is called. So if you go to the right hand side, and here you can do the shape, the style, change all those things. But if you go to click action, you can change right here and you could do a URL, you could do a page. Right now it's set up to go to the about page. Uh, but again, these sort of things you should not really need to touch. Um, they're all set up for you. So that should all be good to go. Um, the blog template is done down here on the left hand side. So if you click on blog, you can see that. You can change anything about the template. So let's say you wanted to change um, the header image. You, If you do it on this side, it's not going to automatically do it on this side. So you kind of have to do those separately. So I'm going to go over here because as you can see, that's not a photo I want. Delete it. And then I can find the photo that I want to put on there. Um, and then this stuff though, like this is just the layout. It'll automatically pull your blogs from um, your WordPress site, which I will show you how to do next. Really important things, you can preview the changes you've made before they go live by clicking up here and seeing preview. Um, and you could check mobile, you could check desktop, make sure everything looks good. Um, the other really awesome thing is if you go down here, you can ask a question um, and type with the show at help team start a new conversation um, and they will answer your questions within a couple hours. So that's a really good resource to use. Your blog, type in your URL and then backslash WP dash admin. So I'm just going to do uh, mine since it's already set up. And then it'll log on to the WordPress end of things um, and the only thing you need to do, this looks confusing, don't worry. All you need to do in here is come over to the left hand side, click on posts, and that'll bring you to your blog posts. Again, if you need to add a new one, just click add new. And it'll add a new one. You can add your title, you can start typing, um, push enter. And if you want to add like a photo, you can click this little plus where it says add block. You could add an image, then maybe I have more text. Maybe I want that text to be bold and like a different um, heading. 
If you come up here, you can change it to heading two, heading three, which is different sizes. Um, the, if you click enter, it's going to automatically do a paragraph text. But that's how you add it. Add images. Uh, you could add a gallery. There's a lot of different things that you could add. You probably are just going to want to add images and text is my guess. So that's how you do it in here. And then what I always suggest doing is coming over to the right hand side and putting a category. So let's say it's about tea. You have that be a category and you click add new category. And then it'll show up whenever you create future posts um, right here and you can just click it. Um, you're welcome to add tags. That's always good too. Um, just again, what is this post about? For categories, I try to limit it to just one category, but for tags, you can add as many as you want. Um, and those are just your keywords. Always make sure you set a featured image as well uh, because Showa is going to pull that as this image right here. So just make sure you go and you set a featured, featured image. You can upload files, select files, and then set that as your featured image. And then you are good to go and you can just click publish.